Then you have Bob Francis O'Rourke, the most Hispanic Irishman <laughs> that you will ever meet. And uh, by that, I mean he can speak Spanish, and that's about the closest thing he has to an actual Hispanic heritage. But, of course, that's one thing that everybody was talking about. So Bob Francis is fascinating to me because he has essentially become the crazy ex-boyfriend. He's the ex-boyfriend who got dumped and is so desperate to have the girl back that he will do anything. He, he, I mean, this is the guy that is throwing rocks at her window and holding up a boombox or serenading her. Uh, just do whatever crazy thing it is that he can think of trying to get the girl back. And it's, it's actually kind of sad watching him. He's just uh, standing there like, please love me again. I, I really do almost feel sorry for him because he used to be such a big deal. He was in the spotlight and everybody on the left was in love with him. Now, not so much. And I think it's because they got to know him a little bit and realized, yeah, that dude's nuts. Because of that, he has gone to extreme measures, again, like the crazy ex-boyfriend. And one such me uh, measure manifested it in some... It manifested itself, wow, I can't talk today, in him trying to take everybody's guns. So before, it was basically, I hate Trump more than everybody else. Nobody hates like I hate. It was, it was kind of that line from the Chronicles of Narnia with the witch when they're resurrecting the white rich. is like, do you hate as good as me? No one hates as good as us. That's what Beto O'Rourke was trying to do, and now he's moved on to, yeah, let's just take the guns. Let's just straight up take them. Mandatory buybacks and said, and I can't even repeat it because of the language he used, but blank, yes, we're coming to take your guns. Which is a fascinating turn of events because you may remember that not that long ago, Beto O'Rourke was a representative in the great state of Texas, which is about as gun-friendly as you get. And when he was running to be elected in Texas when he ran against Senator Cruz, you may remember that he assured everyone, look, no one's coming to take your guns. People that are saying that are conspiracy theorists that are just trying to help Ted Cruz win. I'm paraphrasing here, of course. But that was the way Better O'Rourke tried to come off. Old Bob Francis, he just can't keep his story straight. And here's what's actually going on here. I said this a long time ago, and it is still true today. Bob Francis doesn't have any beliefs. The guy is just an empty shell, and he will say whatever it takes to be relevant. He will say whatever it takes to get elected to office. He doesn't know how to live any other way. And so much like the Clintons, and actually to a limited extent, kind of like Donald Trump, to be honest, his political beliefs depend upon what room he happens to be standing in at the time. If he's in a room full of Democrat donors much like our own Senator Doug Jones. If he's in a room full of Democrat donors, he's as far left as left can be. You'll never find anybody as far left as me. If he's running in a red state against a Republican, oh, I'm just a, a moderate blue dog Democrat. I believe the same things that you believe. I just happen to believe in a little bit more government spending. That's all. I'm not a socialist. I don't want to tax you to death. I don't want to take your guns. That's, that's really all this is about. Bob O'Rourke, cannot make up his mind because whatever room he happens to be in at the moment, that is who he is. That's all you need to know about our work. And by the way, I would just like to point out, he did conservatives a huge favor. Because now everybody, first of all, knows that the Democrats are serious about taking your guns. There have been three candidates, including him, on that stage the other night, that have said that they support a mandatory buyback, which is just confiscation with money attached to it. Because if it's mandatory, it's not optional. So, three out of ten are saying that we're in favor of gun confiscation. In other words, yes, we are coming to take your guns. So that's the first fav uh, favor he did. The mask is now off, that people are saying... Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be on board with that. 
The second big favor that he did is that that was the main takeaway from the debate. Now, granted, like I said, not a whole lot happened, so it's not surprising. But that's the thing that everybody was focused on with that debate. That's what the national conversation went to, as opposed to any of the other things that had been talked about. The media had to actually pay attention to that instead of talking about how wonderful all these crazy socialist programs would be. So, yeah, Bob O'Rourke, stay in the race as long as you want, buddy. You are only helping out the GOP. Hey, y'all know I'm a stats and numbers guy, so here's some fun facts for you. People that subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel are 200% more satisfied with their online video content and 400% more likely to be able to speak intelligently about politics and religion with somebody they know. Also, four out of five people that subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel live healthier, more fulfilling lives. And that fifth guy was just a social justice warrior with a stick up his butt. Also, 82% of the statistics on the internet totally made up.